Hi, my name is Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to customize your theme with Shopify. So right now I'm in the Shopify backend area. And whenever I hit the homepage area, I hit online store and then that comes up with themes. So I'm in the themes area now. And you can see right now I have the free Shopify theme, which is debut. In the previous video, I went through how to add in other themes, either free or paid. Um, and I'll put a link below this video back to that video so that you can kind of make sure that you first found a theme that you want. Um, and I also have in that video a uh, free checklist that'll let you go through and make sure before you start adding themes to your store that you found one that's gonna work really well for you. And that way we can move forward from there with customizing it so you don't have to repeat this process many times. So in this video, we're gonna go through customizing the theme in the back end of Shopify. And I'm just gonna customize this debut theme. So the same kind of settings are gonna be different or gonna be the same with no matter what Shopify theme that you have. Um, some of the functionality is gonna be different or stylizing. Um, however, the process of going about it is gonna be the same. So to edit this theme, I'm just going to hit customize. And then this is the theme customize area. So you'll see over here, this will be the same for every theme. You'll have a sections area, which lets you control the different areas of the site. And then you have a general settings area, and this is more of your um, general site-wide edits, like colors, typography, actually putting in your social media links. So you can click into each of these individual ones. So let's click into social media. So for example, you would put in your social media links of where you want that to be published, and that'll show up a social media icon once you put that in there. So this will most likely, I think, show up at the bottom of the site. So now that we put that in, you can see this Instagram icon. So if we put in Pinterest now, you can see it live update on the right hand side. So now the Pinterest icon showing up. So as you go in and start filling out this area, it'll anything under the general settings will edit site wide. So let's go back here under general settings. So again, like any typography that you choose or colors will be site wide edits. So that way you don't have to make it for each individual page. So let's go back to the main sections area and we'll start out with the header area, which is up here. So we'll click header and this will be site wide as well. So for the logo, we're going to upload our image of the logo. So I'm just going to select it here and hit open. And this theme actually lets you choose if you want it to be left or centered. So again, as soon as you're making these edits, it's nice because you can see it actually happening on the right hand side. So now that I see it, I really liked it left better. You can also choose what kind of menu you have set up here, but we're gonna keep that the main menu. And you can also add in an announcement bar. So this would be great uh, for something like free shipping. So we could put, just type in free shipping over a hundred dollars. Oops. And you can actually have that link to a specific page. So maybe your, your free shipping page, or if you were just gonna do free shipping on a specific collection, you could have that link there. And you can also go in and change the color. So we can make this color, you know, be whatever we want it to be and just change it on the scale. And it's auto publishing there on the right hand side. And the same with the text. So it's really cool because as you're going through, so now we've got that, we'll hit save. And the changes would be there on your site ready to preview. So now let's go through the other areas of the site because it, it starts getting really cool once you can add other sections. So for right now, we have an image with text overlay, which is this slideshow effect. We have featured collections. So these are things that I already have set up in um, my Shopify store. An image with text, another slideshow, and that's it. However, there's other things that are able to be added. So we'll hit this add section and you can see now that you have a full list of things that you can add in. So let's also add in blog post and we'll hit add. And so now it's pulling in my blog post automatically and you have settings that you can change here of how many posts you add. You can make it you know, as many as you want, show the author, date, things like that. 
We're gonna hit save and that'll add it in. And then we'll hit this back arrow. So now you can see it here. Let's also add in maybe a newsletter section. And to promote the newsletter list and we'll hit add. Again, you can customize these settings. We're gonna just keep it like that for now. And now we've added in some things. So we already have, let's see, an image with text overlay at the top. So we don't necessarily need a slideshow at the bottom now. So we can just click into this slideshow and hit delete and it's gone. And then now we have these different breaks. So we'll do the image with text overlay then let's say we have our products here and we wanna maybe break up this area. So we can, instead of having blog post, we can move this newsletter up. So you'll come up and see these dots. If you grab that and pull it up and drop it, you'll see now this has moved in its positioning on the page. So it's really nice that you can really change things very quickly on the site. So let's see, instead of doing collections, let's actually add some products. So we hit add section and we're going to have, you could either do featured product, but let's see, do we want to do that or let's do featured collection. So this would be if you had a, a whole collection area of, you know, hats, you could show different hats here, or you could do, if we wanted to do featured product, this would be a very specific product that you want to sell. So let's do featured collection and we'll hit add. And we'll make it, you know, two products per row. So we're nice and big images. And you could do just one row. So again, we're able to really customize a lot. We'll maybe make it four. And you would then choose the collection that you would want to show. So I'm going to say the front page collection. So it turns out the front page collection only has two products in it. So I can just edit that by only making it two now. So they're a lot bigger and then we'll hit save. So we can delete this first one and then we'll drag and drop this up higher. So you can really go in and customize a lot whenever you set up your Shopify theme and then whenever you go into each individual setting, so for example, this image with text overlay, we'll click into it and we'll add in the image that we want. So we'll hit upload image. And I already had a few slide images in here. So we'll just click that image and upload it. And we can choose how you want it to be aligned. We can then edit this text to be however you want. Again, as soon as you add it in, you can see it now changing automatically for you. Now everything isn't saved until you hit the save button. So make sure you do that. And we can also add a button in terms of shopping. And so we hit shop now and we'll have that linked to, we'll come in here and hit collections and we'll have it go to the card page. So now this shop button instantly is uploaded and we'll hit save. So having this functionality lets you be able to really quickly edit your store and get it live even quicker, but still making it very customizable and unique to your brand, which is really nice as well. So very quickly, we were able to stylize our store a little bit, and you can again keep going in and adding other areas or deleting the sections that you're not going to be using. And the last area is this footer, which is this bottom area here. So again, every theme has different settings in here. However, this one has kind of a smaller footer area, just of a, a menu and um, links but the, any changes you make to the header area and the footer area are gonna be site-wide. These are specifically for the homepage. So you'll see these are specific for the homepage. Once we click in on a shop or a collection page like cards, which we've already got set up. So this is now the collection page. So now we have different settings over here for a collection. So we click on that and now we have you know, the options of how we want our collection page to be styled. And the same is true for a product page. So now let's click into this individual product 
And you'll see now the settings over here have changed as well. So the header and the footer are still the same because that's site-wide, but now we have other product options. So if we click on product pages, now we can see that we have other options. So you can choose to make the image a little bit smaller. We can also add a quantity selector. So that lets people buy multiples of something. Uh, if you wanted to show the vendor, you could do that. Uh, right now, image zoom is enabled, so you can zoom in on the image, or you could just very quickly unclick that, and now you don't have that option. So a lot of really cool functionality to get your site up and running very quickly and have it looking really nice for your customers. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful, and if you want more weekly videos about Shopify, make sure to subscribe to this channel.